Vitar in Arabic means odd. And vitar can be 1, 2, 3, sorry, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 rakat, no problem. And it is the most important sunnah after the faraiz. Our beloved Prophet asked the Sahaba, do you want me to tell you something Allah has given a gift? What is it? They said vitar salah. And the vitar salah normally is any salah you offer after the isha salah, before the Fajr Asan. So any Salah that you offer after the, it's called as Qayyamul Layl. Sorry, the right meaning of Qayyamul Layl is that Qayyamul Layl is a broad term meaning standing up at night. It means any ibadah that you do at night is called as Qayyamul Layl. But more specifically, Qayyamul Layl refers to standing up in prayer. So any prayer that you do after the Isha Salah up to before Fajr is called as Qayyamul Layl. Vitar is one type of Qayyamul Layl where the Prophet said that it's a gift Allah has given and it, though it is a sunnah, it is the most important sunnah after the Farai Salah. And the Prophet said, it is better if you offer in the last one third of the night. So Qayyam, so Vitar is part of Qayyamul Layl. It can be prayed anytime after Risha up to before Fajr, but the best is in the last one third where Allah descends down and asks his servant, is there anything you want to ask and I will answer your prayer. So the best time to pray is, but if you fear that you will not get up, so it's better you pray early. You can even pray immediately after Isha. That is the least. But the best is in the one third. And you can pray, it's an odd. You can pray one rakat, you can pray three rakat, you can pray five rakat, you can pray seven, you can pray nine. But the Prophet usually offered three rakat. And when you pray three rakat, the Prophet said, do not pray like as you pray your, your Maghrib Salah. So you don't pray two rakat and one rakat. You, you don't pray uh, three rakat like the, like the Salah of Maghrib together. You preferably pray two rakat and one rakat. If you pray three rakat together, see to it you do not sit down after the second rakat in Atayat. You get up after the second rakat, pray a full three rakat, and then in the third rakat, you pray and you sit in the tashahud. So in second rakat, you don't so that it differs from the Maghrib Salah. Regarding a basic question, that do you have to read Dua Khanun? According to the Prophet, yes, if you read the Sahih Hadith and the Sunnah, the Prophet did read Dua Khanun in the last rakat of Fitr. If you are praying one rakat, then you pray your dua khunut after the ruku of the first rakat. If you are praying three rakat, in the last rakat, in the third rakat, you pray dua khunut after your ruku. If it's fifth rakat, so you pray in the last rakat of fitr. And that is a sunnah, it's not a fard. And you have to read the dua khunut in the fitr. Hope that answers the question.